My research is pretty broad, much broader than I had anticipated. I started off with, as a grad student here at Carolina, looking at uh, behavior and emotional functioning in children internationally. And uh, much of that work was done with uh, John Weiss, who was my advisor. And that meant me collecting data in Jamaica and combining that with some of his data here in the United States. That evolved over the years uh, into more, how do you go about measuring the functioning of children, adults, families, internationally? That is the way most researchers do this work, is that we take a questionnaire or an instrument, whatever you want to call it, and just take it overseas and use it. I found a lot of problems with that. One is that words mean very different things to different people internationally. And uh, a word that might mean, for example, whining in the United States really refers to a child that's really kind of cranky and uh, using this kind of singing voices like my children do. Uh, but in the Caribbean, it means very different things. Uh, for one, it might mean someone might be drinking a little bit too much liquor, uh, or someone who is engaging in a sexual explicit dance, which you wouldn't expect young children to be engaged in. And so one of the things that we found was that most parents were saying no to that item. And so, and that's just one of many examples. So as a result of that, I really embarked on how do you measure functioning in different people across the world. And so that's where most of my focus is at the moment in terms of doing that and doing it in a way where you can not only measure within the culture but also compare uh, children or adults or families across cultures. When I started in this business, international work was not very popular. Uh, in fact, I remember uh, someone saying to me at the university that I worked at that I should bring my research home, meaning bring it back to the United States, and not to do as much international work as I do. Uh, but I guess in some prophetic sense, I saw the world is becoming much smaller, and uh, we have become more global, and as a result of that, uh, it's really critical to understand not only what's happening uh, in our borders and uh, inside our shores, but also what's happening in other parts of the world uh, because they are impacting us and we're impacting them. And so it's really important to do that.